So immunotherapy, I think, in heme malignancies overall has really exploded. In multiple myeloma, the exciting uh, things that are coming out specifically relate to checkpoint inhibitors and the requirement to combine them with an IMID, whether uh, lenalidomide or pomalidomide, that is showing significant uh, response rates even in IMID refractory patients. That's one very exciting area because I think it's the first time that it shows how single agent therapy has no activity and combination therapy is showing greater than 50% activity. The second idea associated with that is the fact that many of these patients are not achieving MRD negativity and despite that are having long-term responses, which I think speaks to the immune surveillance that may be uh, present in patients undergoing immunotherapy that may have actually better clinical long-term effects than, than, than tumor eradication. And then I would say the third big area that is achieving a lot of excitement is the area of adoptive T-cell therapy with CAR T-cells, and specifically, I think at this meeting, we saw uh, several talks with BCMA CAR T-cells uh, from different groups showing a very high response rate. I think clearly it's been shown now that BCMA is a very good target in multiple myeloma and how this will ultimately pan out is, is very interesting. What the, what the duration of the response is and what the duration of the T-cells are going to be is going to be something that we need to look at. And this needs to be coupled to the toxicity that we're currently seeing with um, this kind of therapy and to identify the proper patient population as well as proper setting in which uh, these therapies can be delivered. I think one long-term uh, potential uh, risk with uh, CAR T-cell therapies that has already been shown in CD19 therapies has been the risk of antigen escape variants and approaches will ultimately need to be developed to try to target that. One approach that our group has been using has been to use a different type of T-cell, specifically MILS or marrow infiltrating lymphocytes, which we believe ha we have shown have a broader antigenic specificity and thus potentially maybe incorporation with such, something such as a CAR can minimize the risk of antigen escape variants while delivering the very uh, exciting and high efficacy of CAR T cell therapy up front.